Hello and welcome to another video session on Yusuf and Obekun's channel. So today we'll be talking about bed send. This has been my go-to when it comes to autoresponder and I've really been talking about it since they've started because I, I, I got on board way early when they started and I can tell you that this is one of the best things that can ever happen to you and also help with your business. So without much further ado, um you can use the link in the description below to get your account and get a free bonus when you get started from betsend itself so um after you have registered this is how the interface looks like as you can see this is just um, another free trial account so this is your wordpress so the moment you have registered on your on on your platform you will be prompted to integrate the domain that you want to use with them so this is where this one comes into play. So when you do that, the next thing you want to do is install their plugin here. So you can easily integrate, as you can see, this person has connected their BetSend account. So the first thing you want to do is, you see these tags, these tags serve is in form of probably when you want to send broadcast and the like. Now, if I tag this, if I, if I come up with a tag now and say this tag should be, um, let's say sample one, or let's say of our one probably this this tag would help me um so now i've created this tag so it will make it easy to segment my contact so when i come here now when i go to my email and i want to create a form when i want to create a form so i do this this is the form now offer one now this form i want to create i'm going to make it a single opt-in form so i just want them to do their design and the likes so i don't need to use their prefilled i just use this and um i want to add there's an email automatically and i want to add um name phone number so i can easily just come here um whatsapp number and um, probably I want to create another one. Let's say full name. So this is a um, specified full name and it just to be like that. So when I come to this field, I can just see full name. As you can see full name, so I can easily just um, rearrange it by using this. So the WhatsApp comes before the full name. So I can easily change this right up as well. As you can see. And I can easily remove this as well by removing this. Now, you see that nothing is showing, but if I want them to use my referral link, I can just um this. So but let me just leave it. This is how it's going to look like. So when you're moving forward, where do you want them to go to? You want them to redirect to a success page. As you can see, if they're already subscribed, what do you want it to happen to them? So probably if they're already subscribed, you still want them to go to your success page, or you want to redirect them to another link. So this helps you. Um, so you want them to go to another page, sample.com slash thank you. So, so, so now, so now you have seen the uh, just a moment. Let me get a link. Um, so now I've put a valid link. The next thing I don't want to go up in, so I can just um, disregard this. So now it is now saying go up in. So the next thing is, which sequence do I want to take them to? And the first thing is, I've not set up any automation. So I want the tag I did initially. I can easily go and choose that tag now. This is it, you understand? So, and um, the next thing is, this is how it's gonna look like. So raw design with no design. So I want to copy this one. So when I copy it, I keep it somewhere for reference. So when I've done that, all I just need to do is just update. 
I just need to update. Now I've done this. So what's the next thing I want to do? I still want to use this offer one. So I come to my automation now. I've not created any sequence. So let's say I start with um, offer one sequence. One. So I create it and I come to the settings. So the settings, I'll come here. So these are what it will look like. These are what it will look like for tunes. So you come to this place, you enter your, your write-ups. So this is the settings that we get immediately. It is, but now that we already have an automation here, so let's just work with this automation. <clears throat> so you want anybody that comes to enter this place. So you can go to your for one edit. After this place, you've had your tag. The next thing you want to subscribe them to the sequence of subscribe and you choose it. So now anybody that comes into it, you just uh, tag. So automatically <coughs> they enter into this sequence and get this sequence immediately they enter. So with this, you've been able to set it up very well to use. So like this now, anywhere I use this stuff, they would easily be able to come in and use it very well. So this is how to go about it. If you have any question, you can easily ask in the comment section and I'll gladly answer. Thank you very much. Now, another thing that I love in addition is this. If you look at this now, let me tell you how it works, man. Uh, let me just try and copy one of the Spanish word here. Yeah. Now, you can easily use this icon to check if your email is going to have high spam rates. Now, when you look at this, As you can see, please aim to get a lower score than two because a score between two and five may reduce your email delivery ability rates. And they will not send email with a score of five and above. I've used like three or four autoresponder. This is the first time I'm seeing an autoresponder that is doing this particular one. This alone is a winner for, for, for me. And I don't see a reason why I will not stick with them. Thank you. Now, if you want to send a broadcast based on the tag that I did earlier, you can just choose this, let's say BC1, and you click on it. So it's going to ask you. Now, this is where it gets interesting. As you can see, you can easily just say match all and use the condition of either they are subscribed to or tag you. So since you have a tag, you can easily use that tag. And if you want the, the ones that are subscribed to, you can easily add that. You, know, you see, so that's the benefit of those ones that was initially done. Thank you.